Let's give you, give you that all-important starting 11 then for County. It's uh, a back three for the Hatters tonight. Ben Hinchliff in goal, a back three of Dan Cowan, Chris Smalley and Jamie Stott. Adam Thomas will play as a right wing back, Scott Duxbury as a left wing back and two holding midfielders in Harry Winter, the captain, alongside Paul Turnbull. Two attacking midfielders, Matty Warburton and Jimmy Ball supporting the lone striker, Rhys Turner, who's uh, going to hope to use his pace to get in behind the uh, Chorley back three. Substitutes tonight for the Hatters, Steve O'Halloran, Sam Minihan, Michael Clark, Darren Stevenson and Ian Ormson back on the bench for tonight's game. And we are looking forward to this one. We are underway as the uh, referee Thomas Parsons gets the game started. Early touch for Jamie Stott on loan from Oldham. And now Reese Turner chasing this one down. This could be a chance early on. He skies it over the bar. Let's see what County can do from the resulting corner. It's Adam Thomas to take, a right-footed outswinger deep towards the far post, towards the head of Spur Smalley, who nods it back across the 18-yard box. Matt Janssen looking very relaxed, hands in his pockets, big smile on his face. And why not, because Chorley are on the front foot at the moment. Down the left-hand side, Blakeman getting forward. Thomas has gone with him. Thomas does brilliantly, gets it away for County. Winter now. Completes the job. Short pass to Warburton. The space here now for Turnbull. Strokes it out to the wing. Thomas now coming in off the right touch line. Duxbury's made a great run down the left. If Warburton sees him, he's gone through the middle instead, though. Gets the return ball. And Warburton's shot was on target. Well saved by Matty Irwin. Who uh, signed from Altrigham in 2016. He was offered a new deal by Neil Young, who was the manager at Moss Lane at the time. So decided to turn it down to come here. Turnbull, clever pass. Oh, and clever oh. again from Turner. Chested it into the path of Adam Thomas. But the defender, Stephen Jordan, read the danger. Now Blakeman can bring it forward for the Magpies. Oh, is there a penalty there as the player goes down in the box under the challenge from Smalley? Sit down. Marcus Carver, there was a little bit of contact in his back and he threw himself to the deck. But a sweet left foot. Try and bend this in towards Ben Hinchliff's goal. Got the centre halves up from the back here. It's a poor delivery though, but it's smashed home. It was a miscued free kick, but it landed very kindly on the edge of the box for the centre half Scott Leather, and he leathered it home. One nil, Chorley. Well, I'm told it's Jordan who actually fired it home. to uh, join Stockport County from uh, clubs lower down the pyramid. Can't believe the facilities at times. Here's Harry Winter, uh, uh, Jamie Stock rather, bringing it forward. Stock out to the left, Duxbury now, jinking one way then the other. He's got two for company though. He needs a bit of help here, Scott Duxbury down by the corner flag on the left wing and the sheer weight of numbers just too much for him. But look at that commitment from Harry Winter to try and win it back and he's forced the error from the Chorley defence. Great work by Winter. Stop now, squares it for Thomas, back to halfway for Smalley. Smalley controls it, takes a touch onto his right foot, delivers it forward down the inside left channel. It's cleared by the centre-half leather, the goal scorer, but one back by Scott Duxbury into the edge of the area now. It's sat up nicely for Winter to strike. Oh. It's not too far away. It's a good job they've got two physios, really, isn't it, for, uh, for Chorley? Cowan, defensive header, gets it away down the right touchline. County still trailing by goal to nil here on 104.9. Imagine FM in association with mydigitalaccounts.com. Hinchliff, long clearance, looking for Jimmy Ball, goes over his head. Teague allows it to bounce, then heads it away, but Jimmy Ball's onto it quickly. Finds Warburton, Warburton out to the right wing. Got a chance to find Thomas, who'll cross from here towards Duxbury. Doesn't quite reach him, but it will come to Paul Turnbull. Turnbull from the edge of the box, curling effort on target, saved by Irwin. Great football again from the Hatters. If results stay as they are, Blythe and York both losing as well. 
The only damage is it gives Chorley an incentive to climb above us into fifth, but uh, there's still time in this game for County to stop that. Chorley cross from the right, dangerous ball in, brilliantly defended. Adam Thomas with another chance from the corner kick. Floats it in near post, it's gone right through everyone, off the upright! It's come to Winter, blocked by Teague. Signed a new contract last summer. They're always there or thereabouts in the playoff places, the Magpies. So they don't score many goals, but the trouble is they've got the best defence in the, in the National League North, so they don't concede many either. Great touch, Stevenson. Finds, Ward, finds Jimmy Ball. Stevenson, back to Jimmy Ball. This could be the equaliser. Brilliant save. Fabulous football again from the Hatters. Stevenson involved in a lovely one-two with Jimmy Ball. Dan Cowan with the throw, it's 1-0 to Chorley. Thomas, Cowan, right-footed cross, it's a deep ball towards the far post, that's a great header, what a goal! Scott Duxbury with a pinpoint header, fabulous lob cross from the right-hand side, and Scott Duxbury got his head to it, his third of the season, wonderful goal, it's a goal that's been coming, 1-1. And what a header from Duxbury. The technique fits he. He's took all the pace off it and looped it over the goalkeeper, back the way it came. Well, he can head it further than I can kick it. Wonderful lofted cross from the right-hand side. It's a great atmosphere inside this ground as County push forward again. This time the threat snuffed out by Chorley, who break now with Newby. He's shot from distance, what a save! Ben Hinchliffe diving to his right-hand side to palm away a 20-yard drive from Newby. Matt Challoner signed from Southport two years ago, former Blackpool man. Zip down the line, he's got it back and a chance to cross. It's cleared by Smalley to the edge of the box, headed back in with interest by... Uh, O'Keefe, cleared by Hinchley, towards Jimmy Ball, can he win this? He can, Stevenson, couldn't get there ahead of the defender, Jimmy Ball, trying to hold off the challenge, but there were two of them immediately on him, and now the counter-attack's on for Chorley, it's Newby leading the charge, Harry Winter's tracked him all the way, and it's a trip by Winter on the edge of the box, the referee had given the free kick, then changed his mind, the shot comes in, and it's palmed away by Ben Hinchley, that's a fantastic save. Left footed in swing and Molyneux takes. It's loose. Oh, a complete miscue on the edge of the box there. <laughs> He's gone the opposite direction. It's fired back in, but Thomas is there to head clear. Oh, the shot from Jordan was possibly the worst I've ever seen. Miles off target. Here's Matty Hughes, though, teeing it up again for Teague, who stayed up from the original corner. It's a decent cross. County can't get it clear just inside the box, it's Teague, it's Hinchliffe to save again, he's come to the rescue on three or four occasions tonight, and Jim Gannon, he can't wait to get Michael Clark on, it's uh, cleared by the Chorley back line, County, oh, it's not the best of headers, that was a bad header that was, yeah, that was a bad header, Jamie Stock with the mistake, Molyneux, Blythe Spartans have lost, so if it stays like this, they cannot catch County, and that's another one gone, and that will all but confirm County's place in the playoffs, as long as there's no more damage here tonight. Offside, Jimmy Ball, there goes the final whistle. As it stands, County are in the playoffs to the, for this season. They've made it into the end-of-season shootout. A point tonight has proved to be enough, as long as there's no uh, massive changes in stoppage time elsewhere in the league tonight but what a brave battling performance by Stockport County